Lesson 16.3c, Finding the Range. A measure of spread is a single number that describes the spread of a data set. We learned in the last video, 16.3b, that one measure of spread is the interquartile range, the IQR, and the IQR is the difference of the upper quartile and the lower quartile. Another measure that describes the spread is the range. The range is the difference of the greatest value and the least value in a set of data. By putting the given data sets in order from least to greatest, we can easily identify the least to greatest values. The data sets show the height in inches of students in two classrooms. So this is their height in inches. We need to find the range of each data set. So the first thing we do is put each data set in order from least to greatest. For class A, the lowest number is 54. And we start, we can find all the numbers that start with a 50 something and slowly list them all until the greatest number, which would be 66. And we have them in order from least to greatest. We do the same thing for class B. We look for the lowest number, that would be a 58, and there's a few of those. And we can find the greatest number, that would be 65. And we put them all in order from least to greatest. The second thing we do is identify the greatest and least value of class A. We have a 66 and a 54. And we subtract to find the difference as the range. 66 minus 54 is 12. So the range for class A is 12 inches. We do the same for class B. We have a 65 and a 58. 65 minus 58 is 7, so the range for class B is 7 inches. We can see class A has a greater range, 12 inches, and class B has a lesser range, 7 inches. Because the range for class A is greater, we know that the heights of the students in that class have more variability. And the students in class B have less variability of height, and the data values are closer together. We know the difference for class A of the shortest student to tallest student is 12 inches, and for class B, the shortest student to tallest student is 7 inches. Here we have a data set, and you can see they're not in order. We put them in order. 3 is the lowest number, and 10 is the greatest number. We've identified the greatest and least values. Now we subtract to find their difference. We have a 10 and a 3. We do 10 minus 3. It's equal to 7. The range for this set is 7. By looking at these two box plots, we can see that A has a lesser interquartile range IQR than B. It goes from here at 13 to 20. Its interquartile range is the difference between the upper quartile and lower quartile. We have 17 minus 14. That's a 3 for the IQR. Where for B, it goes from 21 to 15 and a half. That's an IQR of 5.5, 5.5. The range for A goes from 13 to 20, so that range is a 7. And for B, the range goes from 12 to 23. That's a range of 11. And these two measures, the IQR and the range, describe the spread of the data sets. When there are many values in a data set, we can copy them carefully to scratch paper. Then we can cross them out as we put them in order. We can also use a number line. That will help us put them in order. So remember the five values. These five values are very important. We have to identify the lowest value, the lower quartile, which is the median of the lower half, the median, which is the middle value of the entire set, the upper quartile, which is the median of the upper half, and the greatest value. We're finished with lesson 16.3. We're going to move on to 16.4, which is split into four parts, and it's about dot plots and data distribution. Have a really nice day, and join me for the next lesson. Bye.